All right, in this video, I'll show you how to add a second account. So if you have another mailbox on the 3CX using a Yealink phone, you can access that mailbox by going into the menu of the Yealink on the desktop phone, going into messages and accessing it there. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you the kind of, how do you do it uh, via the web browser to set that up. So you'll wanna log into your 3CX server and go to the extension that you wanna add to the phone. Also log into the Yealink phone and go to the, um, you're gonna to wanna to get this information right here. If you're using, if you're not using a, a proxy, don't worry about this down here or an, S, or an SBC controller, but you'll wanna get this information. Okay, just copy and paste that. Go to the second account. Paste that in here. Okay, paste that in here. Enable, and then you're gonna to wanna to go over to the extension that you are going to add to the second account. Okay, copy the ID, which is gonna go register name and then the username is actually the extension number whoops and then you're going to want to get the password okay uh, give it a friendly name service or in your case complaints I believe it is okay Complaints, and I'm using a proxy, so for the purpose of mine, you won't need to do this if you're not. If it's in-house, you just put the IP address here, hit confirm, and it is registered. Now, if you go into the phone and hit menu, go down to messages, voicemail, view voicemail, both mailboxes of the account one will be there and the account two. All right. One last thing. Make sure you're under account two. Go over to advanced under the account tab. Right where it says voicemail, you're going to want to enter the voicemail direct dial number uh, that you use to access your voicemail. All right. Now that's it.